hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul so i have a lot of products to share with you and i'll jump right into it in a minute but first of all um a few months ago i filmed a drugstore haul it was a makeup revolution drugstore week that i was going to do and i filmed a haul video and a couple other videos for that week and um, now the products in it are still fairly new like the haul video and that that i filmed are all still fairly new and i do have a few other new stuff from makeup revolution to share with you in this haul as well so that's why I wanted to bring it up there because I do have a lot more Makeup Revolution products. So let me know in the comment section if you would still like to see that Makeup Revolution drugstore week um, or if you're interested in just that haul itself. Um, so as I said I do have a few products from Makeup Revolution in here and I can't really add them all into this video because it would be so so long because that video itself, like the one I filmed a few months back, there was a lot of products in it and I haven't got around to trying a lot of the products out yet that was actually from that haul video so let me know if you would still like to see that Makeup Revolution Drugstore Week because um, I could have just refilmed the haul again and added these new products in that I have here but like it's just a lot of time and I can't really be bothered filming another one when I have all the files there but let me know if you would like to still see that drugstore week anyway I'll just get on with this haul because I have a lot of products to share with you so yeah let's just get started Okay, so the first thing I have are these, which are from Eco Tools, and these are their new blending sponges. So there is two in this little pack, and I've actually opened these already. Like, I haven't tested them yet, something like that, but I've opened them because I really wanted to feel the big, um, the big green one, which is this one here. I really wanted to feel that because I've seen a lot of people saying it was really um, kind of squishy and it was great for applying um, your makeup so I just really wanted to feel it. So here is what the two of them look like and as you can see this one is a bit bigger and this one's a bit smaller. So this one feels quite squishy as it is, like it's not wet or anything like that so when you wet it it will go a little bit softer again. So it feels quite squishy as it is and I like that it has like a few different sides on it. So you've got the big round side there for blending in um, your foundation, then you've got kind of flatter edges here and obviously there as well for blending in like concealers and stuff and also you could use this kind of straighter edge as well to clean up um, like your contour and everything like that so yeah I'm excited to use that and then you have a little mini one which is basically just the exact same like it has the same cutouts and everything is a big one but this one's just a little bit smaller so yeah this one will be great for concealer I think and um, this kind of rounder side here you could really get under your eye area and stuff like that so yeah really excited for these okay so the next few things I have are from Rimmel and these are from their wake me up line so this I'm sure has been reformulated like these here which is the foundation and also the concealer have been reformulated with vitamin C in it for like skin brightening so I'm excited to try these I mean I absolutely love Rimmel's foundations like especially their match perfection which I actually got another one of them as well so this is the other one here that I just got and um, this is their match perfection and I got it in the shade 200 soft beige and I have been using this stuff for absolutely months and I think it's absolutely amazing. If you've been wondering for a few months what I've been wearing on my face like in videos and stuff like that, it's always been this foundation here unless it's maybe a makeup story where I've used something different. But the majority of times it is this here which is the Match Perfection from Rimmel. It's absolutely incredible and I highly recommend it if you haven't tried it. But anyway, these two are from their Wake Me Up line and I think they look really nice. They look nice and springy with the orange kind of lid um, on them and I actually like the design of this bottle it's like a glass bottle and everything and along here it is sort of like engraved if you can see there with Rimmel which looks really really nice so I got the foundation in 200 soft beige the same shade as the other um, Rimmel match perfection and in the concealer I got the shade number um, it's classic beige so it looks a good match for under my eye area like the foundation is a little bit darker and the concealer is a little bit lighter for brightening up my under eye area and the concealer has also got the skin brightening effects in it with anti fatigue as well. So yeah, super excited for these. Okay, so the next couple of things I picked up are from Maybelline and I got their Instant Eye Eraser Concealer which I absolutely love and I use this every single day. I think it's amazing. And I also got their Lash Sensational Mascara as well which I think is amazing. Like if I'm not using the kind of higher end mascara on my eyes and I'm always, always using this one here from the drugstore. Like this is incredible. Now I'm not going to go on and on and talk about it because you probably heard everybody going about it see it's amazing okay guys i'm going to throw this into this haul here which is the makeup academy burning embers palette so you would have seen me using this over the past few months i'm absolutely crazy about this like most of the eye looks i've been doing the past few months has been like with this palette 
Um, the pigmentation in this palette is absolutely incredible. Like it's absolutely amazing for a drugstore um, eyeshadow palette. So as you can see, there is a bunch of shades in there. There's a lot of shades in there, and they are a mixture of matte and petal shades. And yeah, you will see me talk about this many, many times. So I'm not going to go on any more about it. But yeah, it's an absolutely incredible palette, and I love that on the back there it has the names of all the shades inside, which is great. So yeah, really loving this palette. Okay, guys, so the next thing I picked up is from Makeup Academy as well, and it is their new Correct and Conceal palette. So they have a couple of shades in this palette, but I have the cool one because I feel like the shades in this palette is going to match my skin tone a lot better. And um, as much as I like my skin to be quite warm looking all the time, um, I think the shades in this do look as if they would match a lot better than the actual warm palette and the light palette. So this is a cream palette and there's a bunch of kind of darker shades down here which look great for contouring your cheeks and then there is a couple of lighter shades here which look great for concealing and then there's a yellow, purple, salmon pink and green shade up the top there for colour correcting. So I don't really colour correct my face that much but I want to maybe give it a go with this palette because I see other people doing colour correcting and I think it looks really really cool. I quite like to maybe do a video like that here my channel of course I would need to master it first before I tell you how I do it here and um, on my channel but anyway um yeah super excited for this palette looking forward to testing it out okay so a couple of other things I picked up are two eyeliners and these are from Barry M and I absolutely love Barry M's eyeliners I think they're incredible I love the nibs on them and everything like that I think they're good for getting a thick or a thin wing. I have these two here which are not my usual shades that I go for. Um, I have a plum one which is this one here. So that is the plum one and then I have this one here which is in the shade Coco. So I have the shade Coco or Cocoa on my eyes today and I'm absolutely loving the brown. Like I'm just really 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 digging the brown shade these days. It's not as harsh on your eyes as a black shade but it really does make your eyes stand out. Like, I think it really makes my eyes stand out brown. I just absolutely love it and I'm obsessed with using this right now. Um, the plum one I haven't used yet and I'm excited to try that though. So the reason why I got these two liners here from Barry M is because this one here is the one that I normally use all the time from Barry M and this one I think is incredible and this one I'm actually out of, it's run out. So I need to pick up another one. But this one is just the original black one and this is absolutely incredible and yeah, I highly recommend these liners if you haven't tried them. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is this here which is a brush cleaner from Freedom. So I went through a few bottles of these over the past few years and I think it's absolutely incredible for spot cleaning your like brushes. Like if you've got like eyeshadow brushes and they're like full of like eyeshadow and you need to use them, then it's really great to just spritz a little bit of this on, clean them with the tissue and then that's you're good to go. This makes your brushes smell absolutely incredible. It makes them smell like melon, like watermelony smell. It's gorgeous. I've been through a few of these over the past few years and yep, yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. Okay guys, so the next few things I have to share with you are some lip products. So I was going through my lipstick kind of collection to, um, to find some new kind of lipsticks for springtime and I came across these ones here which are all still boxed up and everything and I don't think I've ever actually used these yet. So I got these I think last year, um, yeah I think I got them last year but I haven't used them yet, they're still in their packaging and everything like that. And I was looking at the shades in them and I was like that, they look really nice for kind of spring and summertime. So I thought I'd pull them back out and maybe start using them, maybe do some makeup tutorials with them and stuff like that. These here are um, from Models Own and they're their Gilt, I think they're either Gilt or Glit collection, um, like they're all gold gold and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I don't think I have shown you these on my channel yet, like in a previous haul or anything like that. I'm not too sure, do correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I got these last year. And they are still available just now, like on Models Own's website, they are still available. Yeah, I'm excited to show you these, so I'll just open a few. Here is what they look like. So as you can see, they are like mirrored rose gold look and they're nice and square, so they're great for standing up. So this shade is Rose Petal. And as you can see, this is a really bright, kind of vibrant pink shade. It looks amazing for summertime. It looks amazing for festivals and that as well. So excited to use this. And as you can see, I've already swatched them already the other day. But anyway, so this is what that shade looks like there. So pretty, very vibrant. Then I have the shade Wild Rose, which is more of a pinky coral shade. That's what that one looks like, very springy. Then I have this one here which is called In Full Bloom. And this is what this one looks like. 
very similar to Wild Rose, but yeah, that's what that one looks like. Looks really pretty as well, great for summertime. Then I have this one here which is more on the muted side, perfect for every day, and it is the shade Secret Garden. So as you can see, this one is like an everyday kind of brownie nude. So these are all in creamy matte finishes and I'm excited to see how these are going to go over the spring and summertime, like how they're going to wear. So yeah, excited for them. Okay, so next lip product I have is from Makeup Academy and it is their Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Passion. So this looks absolutely gorgeous. It's like a really nice kind of peachy, corally shade. These smell absolutely amazing as well. They smell like sweeties, which is delicious. Um, so that's what that shade looks like there. I have a few of these velvet lip lacquers from Makeup Academy already and yep, they're really really nice. So they're really kind of long wearing on the lips and they don't crack up as much as their older ones. So I'm excited to see how this one is going to go, see if it's just as good as the other ones I have which are from the newer range, if you know what I mean. Um, but yep. Yeah. Excited for this one here, looks like gorgeous, gorgeous kind of peachy shade. Okay guys, the next thing I have is this here which is from La Roche Posay and this is their Thermal Spring Water and it's for sensitive skin. So this is probably something like really you probably don't need really but I'm just really into spritzing my face now with all these kind of cooling sprays, fixing sprays, setting sprays, primer sprays, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, I'm just really into it because I feel like it adds a lot more kind of um, hydration into the skin after you've applied your foundation or even before you apply foundation. Um, I'm just really into these. I think they're great um, and I really love this one here which is in this aerosol can because the actual spray, like the product inside this is a lot cooler because it keeps quite cool in this aerosol which is amazing. So as I said, this is from La Roche Posay and I've heard a lot of great things about La Roche Posay and I do have a lot of skincare products from this brand that I haven't actually got around to testing yet. Um, so I'm really impressed with this little thing here so I'm excited to see how the rest of the products I have from La Roche Posay go. See, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It's a really great little um, makeup setting spray and oh, I haven't actually applied this this morning so I'm going to apply some just now. So let's spray this. really cooling and nice and refreshing so yeah loving this little guy okay guys the next thing I have is this here which is from Barry M and this is their new match me up lip kit so this is in the shade pose and this is okay I mean it's not as um, hydrating as moisturizing as other Barry M lip products that I've tried in the past but this is slightly different because this is a matte lip paint so because it's matte, it's obviously going to be a little bit more sort of drying. It's not as kind of creamy or as moisturising as a satin or a cream finish. Anyway, this is in a matte formula. And this is great for everybody out there that absolutely love matte lip products. I know there's lots and lots of people out there that prefer mattes. But for me, I just love formulas that are more sort of creamy, a little bit more kind of hydrating on the lips, a little bit more kind of satiny, feel quite soft and quite buttery so I think that's just my preferred finish. The shade of this is actually quite light it's like a kind of pale pinky shade but it has like more of like a mauve undertone to it like it's quite mauve in a sense so this is what it looks like here as you can see it is quite um, light probably doesn't look as light on camera as it does when you apply it to your lips. You also get a lip liner with the kit which is amazing and it's a little kind of sharpie one which is great. Okay so I've got a couple of Makeup Revolution products to share with you. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video um, I do have a lot more Makeup Revolution products that I did in a Makeup Revolution haul so I think. But yeah these are a couple of things that have been newly launched from Makeup Revolution so I'm going to show you these and these are their new highlighters which look absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to try these. These look so so good. So here is what they look like. Um, really pretty rose gold packaging. They are so so big and um, really big highlighters and this is what it looks like inside. So as you see you get a lot a lot of product there. You get a big mirror at the top there which is absolutely amazing. So you really do get a lot for your money with these little highlighters. So that's what the shade golden looks like. This one here is the shade peach. Looks really really cool. And then this one here is the shade ice 
So this one looks really, really stunning and I'm excited to try these out. So I'm not going to swatch them in this video because I am going to do a kind of first impressions and review on these um, on my channel very, very soon. So yeah, excited for them. Okay, then the other new product I have is their um, Renaissance Glow Palette. So this is basically just the exact kind of dupe for, what is it, um, Charlotte Tilbury's one. It looks really, really similar. So this one comes with a really pretty velvety um, pouch, which is gorgeous. And then this is what it looks like inside it's almost like a little purse which is really cute with a nice little clip there it also has a matte front and a matte back on it and um, i love the little gold hardware around it it's really cool and then that's what it looks like inside so as you can see this just looks really 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 similar to the charlotte tilbury one so you have a sculpting side and you have a highlighting side now this sculpting side looks quite um like ashy if you know what I mean, quite, yeah, this looks like it has more of a kind of ashy undertone to it, so I don't know how that will look on my skin or like my cheeks, it could be really really nice once I apply it, but right now I'm kind of a little bit um, sceptical of it, but um, the highlighter looks incredible, I cannot wait to try that out, um, you also get a nice big mirror up top there which is amazing, so yeah, I'm super excited for this. Now a couple other new products I have for Makeup Revolution are their new Renaissance Lips which again look really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks so this is what it looks like here gorgeous gorgeous packaging so I have the shade Breathe which is more of a brown everyday shade and then I have the shade Lifelong which is more of a ready mauve shade which looks so pretty as well that's what the two shades look like there absolutely stunning shades so I've been really impressed lately with Makeup Revolution's packaging. It's getting so, so, so nice. They're doing a lot more sort of like dupes for high-end brands, which is great. I think it's really amazing, to be honest. Really excited for these. Okay, guys, that's everything for this drugstore haul. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section if you would like to see any kind of reviews or first impressions of these products. I would love to do them for you. Also, let me know what you think about the drugstore week that I had planned. Let me know if you would still like to see the whole video that I did of a lot of the new Makeup Revolution products. Just let me know in the comment section and I'll get that up for you. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did like and enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel down below and I guess I will speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah.